to help myself get rid of what I call the small yuck stuff, and I'm not quite sure what to do with it. I have one big uh, shoebox sitting on a chair here, and I just throw that sort of stuff into it so I can walk past it and go, okay, fine, that can go, or that needs to go here. So it, it, I'm sort of getting rid of it one thing at a time, if that makes any sense. Then every day I am emptying stuff onto my bed. And wherever possible, I am then putting it into subcategories. For example, I found all sorts of uh, light switches and things when I was sorting through today. So they're all going to go together and probably go into one of the electrical boxes. This is my sort of um, television modem type electrical box. And this one is my uh, computer type electrical box. Now, what I found that I thought you guys would really enjoy was this. I'm trying to think how old I was there. Probably 40-something. <laughs> but I thought you guys would enjoy that. I haven't seen that picture in a long, long time. Hope you enjoy it. Well, I thought I'd show you these little subcategory boxes that I've got going here. This one I'm still sorting through, but I've got sort of like business stuff here. I've got <laughs> theme stuff there. Um, actually, I know why those two are together. Theme stuff and stuff that belong in the bathroom. I normally keep them in the bathroom. Jewelry that I'm finding in odd places. Um, these are sunglasses to go over my... Sunglass covers to go over my reading glasses, right? There's a leash here for Bean Bean. Sob. Um, I still haven't sorted out. These are things for my bed. This is contractor stuff. So I, this is also contractor stuff, as I call it. So I'm busy creating, and I've got some spare ones that I'm working on now. And then as it starts to fill up, then I create a bigger box, sort of one this size. And if that fills up, then obviously it goes into a cubie. But it's amazing... <laughs> How many things are in the wrong place? Let me show you. The whole of this cubie here is full of medicinal stuff that I found everywhere except where it was meant to be. And I'm sure I haven't finished yet. A whole cubie full. And this is where I thought all my medicinal stuff was, was in here. But apparently not so. But I'm still not packing it up because I may need a cubie this big. <laughs> this is one of the bigger ones. <laughs> Every day I put some stuff on my bed and this is called you don't move on until you've worked through this lot. Now there's a big bin there of papers. Now you know I hate that. Uh, luckily that one is all accounting stuff from 2008. I just want to check with Yvonne. I think I can throw that away safely. Oh that's the 2008 accounting stuff can't remember what's in there and I'm not going to open it up. This is all mending stuff. Now that probably is going to stay but I want to work through it and decide do I want to mend it or throw it away. And then the mending stuff should be not in my bedroom. Do you understand? That should be in another room altogether so it's going to move after I've sorted through it. So and that's what it looks like. And I know what you're wondering. Is my bathroom still as tidy? Well I thought I'd show you <laughs> Hi everyone. I thought I'd show you. Yes, it is. Um, I've just got this taped off because I want to touch up the paint here. I'm going to grab the paint from the garage. Okay, the rest of it's as tidy as I made it, and it's over a week. I'm so proud of myself. It's almost as tidy, but then remember, I used this room to sort things out on that. This probably isn't the wisest idea. I totally cleaned this fan yesterday. Look at the dust that has accumulated on here in one day. And in fact, to give you an idea, I have two fans going. One there, 
and one here because I am aware that everything I move everything that I sort out has probably got dust on it and this is where I sleep how intelligent is that but it's working so I don't care how unintelligent it is it's working for me and that's the important thing well as you can see my little stack of mini storage is growing and is working very very well and I've now managed to clear all of that shelf you know and have that much space left I've cleared all of that shelf and I still have a couple more to go but we're getting there but you've got to admit that looks a whole lot more organized I just wanted to give you a packing tip um, I went to the dollar store and I can buy packing tape for $1.25 and that's how much I get, which will go into my packing tape machine. However, what I also saw was packaging tape, that much, please notice the difference, and this was three bucks. So, by paying twice the price, I got a lot more than twice the amount of tape. The difference is, I won't be able to use this in my tape machine. And you know, it was funny. As I was saying that, I thought, I've got a good quality scotch tape machine. And look what I just found out. I can use it in my tape machine. That is awesome. Much better price. Mind you, I probably need to take weightlifting, <laughs> weightlifting lessons just to be able to pick that up with one hand. But yay, that was definitely worth getting. Yes. So one of the other things I'm a great believer in is packing with banker boxes. So I've got 50 boxes here. I probably will end up with more. The reason I get them is two reasons. Number one, when you move, it's really easy to stack them up and throw a sheet over them and they look, you know, fine until you're ready to unpack a particular box. The other thing I got was two rolls. I actually only needed one, so I might return one. Um, but two rolls of corrugated um, cardboard but this is so you don't spend the whole time wrapping with paper and getting filthy and everything so I've got a lot of artwork and stuff so to me everything's going to get wrapped up nicely again in case it ends up in storage so I hope that makes sense so for the sake of a little bit of money and I'm not running around backwards and forwards um you know, trying to get boxes and spend the same amount of money, quite honestly, just getting second-hand boxes. And then I need tape and all sorts of stuff, whereas with this I don't. They've got their own lids. <laughs> ¶¶